This is International Master Eric Kislik, and I just wanted to show a really awesome study that I saw a long time ago when I started playing chess, and it kind of actually got me really into the logic of chess and just how cool it was and how everything fits together in such a neat way. So here's a study in which white is to move and win, and we have to figure out how can we try to win. Let's pause for a moment and initially think of what ways could we even win in this position? Well, due to the material situation, the only way that we're going to win is by checkmating the king. But where could we actually checkmate it from? The answer is the g3 square, if we can maneuver the rook all the way around to g3. The problem is, if we do it immediately, then black's rook can become active via, let's say, for example, b7 to b2. So, what we have to do in this one, which I think is really cool, is we have to play one simple preparatory move that forces the opponent to, you could say, pacify, even though it's not a real word, but make their rook more passive. So, I'll just illustrate the first point. If we play rook a1, they go here. And then if we try rook g1, trying to come up to rook g3, because then if they take, it'll be checkmate with the pawn. But here there's this move, and black is just in time by attacking the pawn. But the trick here is to play the move rook to a8. And because of the rook being so active here and eyeing the h8 square, the black rook cannot move off of the h file. So the black rook has to become even more passive and is blocked by its own pawn on g6. So now white can come back and win. Here, rook h7, rook g1, and now rook to g3. And we have unstoppable mate on h3. Or if they take it, we simply take and checkmate. I just thought this was a really awesome study and I thought you'd really enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks again.